This next trick is called ghostly writing. It's where ghosts will tell me what you are thinking. For instance, uh, ghosts often like to use the flesh, the blood of someone's hand, in order to perform the effect. So I'm going to roll up my sleeves so that you can see their flesh writing appear on my arm. Now, I have a number of animals written on the side of these coins. This one's a mouse, a cow, a pig, a dog, a cat, a lion, a rat, a pony, and a turtle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, in order to have a random selection, we're going to throw all these coins up into the air, let them fall, and the ones that land face down, we're going to get rid of. So whichever one's last will be the animal that we're going to choose. So let's give it a go. In this case, these are the coins that turned face down. And the coins turtle, lion, mouse and cat were the ones that landed face up. So we'll go again with these ones. And another shape. This time only one was face down, so we'll get rid of that one. Three more, one, two to go. All three will face up, so try that again. Just one was face down. Cat and turtle, the last two left. Again, they both face up. Both face up. Both face up. And this time, the cat is the only one left face up. Okay? So I said the spirits were going to write to me. I'm going to use coffee grains in order to see what they've written because sometimes it isn't always possible to see what they've written. But on my hand now, I'm going to ask the camera, I'm going to ask the ghost to come along and write across my arm. And there it was. I take some of the coffee grains, hopefully, you should be able to see what they've written. I just sprinkle those over my arm, rub them down a tiny bit. some of the excess, a tiny bit more, a tiny bit more over here, and hopefully you should be able to see the word written by the ghost, which is cat, the word that matches my prediction. I'm going to clean this up and we're going to come back in a few moments time with the explanation. Okay, the secret to this trick lies in two parts. The first part is how you make the word lamb appear on your arm. The secret to that, I'm using chapstick. Chapstick is the stuff that you put on your lips in order to add Vaseline to it. It's also a very useful item for making words appear on your arm. For instance, in this case, we're gonna use the word cat. So I open up the chapstick and write the word cat in chapstick on my arm. C A. T. Cat. Now you can't see that, it's completely invisible, but it is written on there, which will be very helpful in a few moments' time. In some cases, you can use soap. Soap will do with the exact same effect. So if you have some soap in your bathroom, you can use soap in order to perform this. I have found chapstick is a lot better uh, at making sure that it shows up a bit more visible, but it does work with soap. The second part was with the coins, how to force the name cat. Now in this case, all I've done is just have taken a bunch of two pence pieces and I've written the name of different animals on all of them. Now the one which I want to force, the word cat, if I can find it, I've written cat on both sides. So on both sides of the coin is the word cat. This means I can now throw them all up into the air because on the other side it's only on one side. The ones that are face down, I can discard and I can keep on doing this like I did in the presentation knowing that no matter how many times I do it, the cat will always be face up, always. So eventually I can eliminate all these other coins which are going to end up face down because the word cat will always be showing me face up. That allows me to force the word cat using these coins as a technique. When it comes to making the word appear on your arm, I'm using coffee grains. Other people have used various other um, items over the years. I like to use coffee because it's nice and cheap. Well, this, cheap, this is cheap coffee. And you can just take the coffee, pour it over your arm, over a tray as well, so they don't mess up the floor. 
Just rub it in a tiny bit. You can see the first two letters there, and there's the third letter. And then just shake off the excess, and you have the word cat written from the chopstick. Uh, chopstick. This is great for spirit writing, for making words appear on your arm. And it doesn't have to be the word cat. Obviously you can change it the next day and do it with the word dog, or do it with various other things like a number. You can force a playing card and have the playing card appear on your arm. There's lots of things you can make using this concept to make words appear across your flesh. I hope you enjoy it, have fun with it, and remember to keep the house tidy because this can be a messy trick.